Hey guys, Dane here, Adaptive Exercise and Rehab, coming back to you with another video. This one covering our FES bike. So our FES bike is a state-of-art piece of equipment that stimulates paralyzed muscles to contract in a fashion that has been pre-programmed by the machine. Um, this one in particular, this one allows our clients to pedal in a bicycle type fashion. So what makes this machine very, very special and kind of customized and obviously very expensive then too, is um, basically the utility behind it. Um, so with this machine in particular, we're putting uh, pads, electrodes on quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes. Um, this is essentially the kind of the primary or target method that we're using this machine. Uh, and then basically aligning the corresponding muscle groups to get stimulated at a um, level that is stimulating the muscle groups to press into resistance that the bicycle is providing for the client. And then simultaneously allowing the client to uh, ride a bicycle, um, thus taxing their cardiovascular system as they're pushing into resistance and their blood flow has to be used into the paralyzed muscles, but also maintaining uh, bone mineral density uh, maintaining just muscle mass in general to kind of helping to lessen the load on their kidneys and then their um, liver as well. Um, but from that, it's just a good kind of way of enriching the environments and the paralyzed tissues so that we can get blood flow um, and nutrients surrounding the um, kind of environment across the board. So this machine, like I had mentioned, is very customizable. Um, so this one in particular, like I had just showed, is primarily used as a bicycle. Um, so with this, these bicycle legs right here, basically we can get a person's leg hooked right into position right here, strap the leg guide down, and then the leg guide right here, this leg guide right here, this is adjustable, uh, so it does extend up and then go down as well. Uh, from there, once the leg's set, there's also straps that flip right over the top. Um, this one right here, I'll show you. So right over the top, to allow for the foot to be set in place. This machine, again, in particular, is slightly different from our other machines as this one allows us to use an arm bike function as well too. So this knob, black knob right here basically is I'll use it as a lock. Uh, so I can pull and unlock it here. And then this right here is used as an arm bike. So slightly different from what I was just mentioning before about the legs, um, where this is where we would put electrodes on uh, quadriceps, deltoids, and maybe some type of forearm muscle to help stimulate uh, forearm extensors. Additionally from that, it does have adjustable uh, essentially height so that we can go up or down with these locks right here. Uh, and then it does also have wheels so that you can move it around in position. From there, since the client is pushing into resistance, we're gonna need to have um, basically the physics are gonna have to be in check. So with that, we have to have uh, seatbelt straps that basically hook and then lock onto the individual's wheelchair to hold them in position in case they're pushing a lot of watts uh, or pushing into a lot of resistance because we need to have an equal and opposite um, force basically counteracting the force that they're pushing into. In terms of what we have up top right here guys, there's uh, two main components that I always kind of preach about. Uh, this tablet right here uh, is kind of the computer and then this box right here is going to be your kind of power essentially. Um, so the tablet is the brains, and then the box right here is called the ergometer. Um, so basically our ergometer, so it's helping to allow for work to be done that is measured then too. Um, so stemming from this blue box right here, the ergometer is a blue cable. This blue cable has six lines attached to it. Um, each of these lines has two ends. So these lines are labeled one through six right here for the corresponding muscle groups. The line that I just grabbed right here is line three. Um, so you can see there's two line three right here. So that allows for the electrodes or the stimulation to go in one and then out the other. So now we're leaving all um, the stimulation correctly in there. Um, so basically as a result of having two lines for each, um, each whole, you know, number essentially, we need to have two pads on each muscle group. Um, so as we're putting an individual on the bicycle, we're putting two pads on their quadriceps, two pads on their hamstrings, two pads on their glutes, and then align the corresponding muscle groups to the corresponding lines then too. And right here, it'll be pulling up the therapy that I have for myself. So my system's loaded here. I can click my configure and go system default. 
And right here, you can see I have quadriceps left and right quadriceps highlighted, hamstrings right and left hamstrings are highlighted, and glutes are highlighted as well too. So you can see the slide bars right here, all are indicating the level of intensity, so the milliamps that we're using. Uh, currently, that one right there is set at 55. They scale up to 140 milliamps at the top. Um, with that, other parameters that we could use here too that are very essential is in particular is our pulse width right here. So our pulse width basically is able to um, elicit a wider spread and contracting more motor units, uh, getting a wider contraction for the individual. Um, so what I can do right here to show you how the bike works is I will de-highlight all of the muscle groups on the machine right here. So what that means right now is no stimulation is going to be had to the muscles at all right here. So from this, I can X out, get everything in position. And since I have my, um, my patient profile list, or already logged in, I can press go right here. And you can see right off the bat here, the machine's gonna start moving the wheels and the motor by itself. And this is gonna be considered the warm up. So this right here is the motor inside the machine right here, spinning the wheels around for itself, by itself. Um, so this warm up basically here takes about two minutes roughly. And you can see on the screen right here, we're in a warm up mode right here also. We have a descending time right here. Our speed is at 34 RPMs, 37 RPMs. And then our power right here is not registering at all. And the power is not registering at all because we do not have any uh, legs in there to apply any resistance or any pressure. So as I put my feet into the holsters right here, I will start pressing into the bike and you can see the watts are starting to appear. You can also see an asymmetry right versus left and then my speed. So this right now, I am actively pressing the bike, pressing into the bike, and that is allowing me to have an active amount of watts, active right less asymmetry, and that allows me also to be higher than the revolution per minute. As I have my feet out, wheels are still spinning, warm up is still on, no power output, speeds back at normal with the computer set for it and then allows for just range of motion right here. So this right here is our FES bike. Again, this allows for contractions of the paralyzed muscles um, with customization within those levels too, based off of the muscle fiber, whether how big it is. Um, so for the quadriceps, very, very large muscle groups, so we're gonna need to have a lot of stimulation versus the calf or the tib anterior, um, not as much stimulation because the muscle group is not as large. Um, from that, we can also customize the height uh, the footrest, the leg guides, and then obviously the stimulation like I alluded to as well.